All right, guys, Jeff here. And if you are looking for a way to not only lose body fat, but also, once again, take down type two diabetes, prevent it or reverse it, two of the best diets to do this with are keto and intermittent fasting. Now today, what I wanna do real quick is just kinda take you down a rundown and kinda show you a quick uh, versus for the diets, all right? Now, here's the thing, all right? Both work exceptionally well, all right? Like I said, I, I have nothing against either one of these. Just basically want you to see uh, what the differences are, all right? Now, keto, for instance, keto, it takes some prep work, all right? If you're not if you're not a prepper, I'm not a prepper, all right? Then, like I said, it takes some prep work to, to stay with it long term, all right? Intermittent fasting, that's why I do it, zero prep, all right? Keto works best. You gotta eat lots of vegetables, all right? You gotta, you gotta feed yourself vegetables, all right? Intermittent fasting, don't necessarily have to stick just to vegetables, however, works best if you still load up with the vegetables, all right? Zero hunger with keto because, I mean, you get to load up on great fat, all right? Uh, which which kind of helps keep hunger at bay. All right. However, like I said, you do intermittent fasting. I'm just going to tell you, all right, you are going to have hunger pains. All right, I have them every morning, and I've been doing this for about five months. Uh, still have them. You know, when I from the time I wake up till I get that first meal, there's certain times of the day, man, I am hungry, ravenous, and you have to push that aside. Very low carb diet. I mean, like I said, uh, to get into ketosis, usually you have to stay below 50 grams of carbs a day. All right. With intermittent fasting, it works best if you stay low carb, but you can have a few more carbs here and there. All right. Now, once again, you still want to get rid of uh, basically fructose. You want to get rid of basically uh, processed carbs. Anything you know? When I say processed carbs, I'm talking about things made from grains, all right, basically, or flour, all right? Stay away from those. Keep those as low as possible. Then, uh, keto, man, great food. Dude, you can wrap everything in bacon and keto, all right? Um, man, uh, bacon-wrapped artichokes, uh, bacon-wrapped chicken. Uh, man, like I said, it's just, it goes on and on, all right? So, you, you can have some great food. I mean, the, the supreme pizza casserole that is like one of the best things ever and you can still have it with intermittent fasting but like i said great food uh the thing with this one is basically intermittent fasting there is no food restrictions all right uh, you know if i'm doing intermittent fasting and i and i feel like and once again you don't do this every night but if i feel like hey i want to eat ice cream tonight i can eat ice cream all right you're gonna be good all right next uh, the biggest thing with keto is sometimes the food gets boring, all right, uh, because you're you're constantly pounding fat, protein, uh, and, and vegetables, all right. Uh, have a little more variety with intermittent fasting. Uh, and we're gonna I, I'm gonna talk about some health aspects as well in, in another video. But the other thing is is with intermittent fasting, I, I have one. I don't like calling it cheat day or cheat day up here, but my thing is I have one day a week that I pretty much just eat normal, all right. Uh, for me, that's usually on Sunday. Uh, so, like I said, bottom line is it, you just have a little more flexibility with intermittent fasting than you do with keto. But if you're trying to lose body fat, or if you are trying to uh, to you know prevent or basically uh, reverse diabetes, type two diabetes, these two diets work great.